everyone. Hi everyone. And welcome back to Dog and Partridge, the place of fine handcraft tales. If you're watching for the first time, this is my world famous brother, Alan Partridge. Hey, this is my brewmaster brother, Dave Partridge. Hello everyone. Hi everyone. Afternoon bro. Afternoon bro. Well today bro, I'm just going to bore the ladies and gentlemen to tell a little bit with a brief history on our town Sleaford. Oh, because we are steeped, steeped in brewing history. It's Tony Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know you say, well I've never heard of a beer coming from Sleaford. But no, our town house is the world's biggest Maltins house. Mm, it was owned it. by the Bass Company. Yeah. Uh, built in around 1900 and uh, malted um, malts, uh, barley there for over 50 years yeah. before modern processes took over. I believe the actual railway line we've got today is partly responsible because uh, they paid for it, basically. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, that's all why we've got a railway time. Yeah, yeah, that's a contract. Yeah, yeah. And Bass loved it here because they could bring all the barley in from the Straight fields. from the fields. And the malting process, I don't know if everybody knows, but everybody knows that beer is made from, from, from barley. To malt barley, you have to think it's going to trick the seeds into, yes. into thinking it's going to grow. Almost germinating. Yeah, almost yeah. germinating. Yeah. And, then, and, then, and then you dry it. Yeah. And then you ship it to Burton upon Trent, where you make... Where you make your beer. Where you, where make, you make beer. Bass. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a fantastic set of buildings. A lot of people moan about them in this town, but I think they're stunning still, in the, even in the state they're in. Yeah, I think they're brilliant. They are part of a World Heritage site. They are. Of course, what our town council did, rumouredly, is offer um, a, certain chicken, <laughs> a certain chicken farmer, um, and they persuaded a sick chicken farmer to, to buy the building, saying that he, he could have whatever plan permission he did. Of course, he built the buildings and was refused plan permission. So he still chickens in it. Yeah. <laughs> That lasted for about 20 years until now they're just uh, fenced off laying derelict. So, uh, we'll take to site. Yeah. It's beer steep in history, uh, ruined by our town council. Well, there you go. There you go. That's going to make this video popular. <laughs> <laughs> right, enough right. of the history, bro. Who are some beers? Of course, we've got bass. Now, if you get over to get, um, get her brewed, right uh, you can make your own custom kit there. But how do you know what goes in it? Well, I've got a little book down there. Oh, I have. Uh, oh, I bought this book, and in this book. Oh, man, specs. <laughs> Your mm. bloody specs on, woman. Oh, cameras brew your own British wheel ale. Yeah, all right. By Graham Wheel, I believe. Ooh. Oh, let's show the show folks at home now. There show folks at home now. There you go. And in, and in there, there's lots of recipes at the back. One of them being Ooh, bass. Lovely jubbly. Draft bitter. I don't suppose you might have paid, do you? No. Ah, oh, well, there you go. It's in there. It's in there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and bought the bag of grain ale. Oh, right, eh? Oh, it's got me working hard today. Look at this, baby. Oh, a hey, bag go. of grain. It's something like... Um, ah. There's something like uh, 4.1 kilos of crystal malt in there. There you go. Chris Floor made Marisata. Oh, there's another thing as well. There is a company out there that's still steeping the malting the grains in the traditional way by Floor Malting. Floor made Marisata. Yeah. Well, and uh, that, that company's called Crisp. Oh. Yeah. It's a crisp malted four, four grains. Yeah, and it's also got caramel malt, crisp, medium crystal in there. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Do you like those guys over there? Yeah. Thing is, they're not far from us, Chris Malt. They're down the road in Suffolk. Okay. So I've bought that kit from Gitter Brood in Ireland. In Ireland. So, so it's gone from down the road to Ireland to back here. Yeah, that's, that's great, though. Like, that's it? doing the environmental world of good, that, isn't it? <laughs> right then. All right then. Let's try right. it. This is supposed to be bass. It's supposed to be bass. Cheers, bro. Recipe. Cheers, bro. It's, it's nice and clear. It's nice and clear. About the right colour. Mm hmm. Not overly powerful notes. Ooh. It's not bad though. It's not bad. I think that's got bad with age. We did try this early on because we were a bit keen to try this, so we did try it early on. No, I think that's alright that now. That's quite that's not that's not far off, you know. No, it isn't, is it? That's got challenger hops in it. I could probably do with another Maybe grab or two. Maybe a few more challenger hops in it. Yeah. Just to give it yeah, a little know. bit extra. It's getting, it is a lot better than when we tried yeah. it the other week. Yeah, mm. that's cracking. That's cracking. Oh, yeah. Mm. So thank you, Graham Wheeler, for the... Uh, yeah. Well done, bro. Well done, well done, me. And get it brewed. Put it um, all together. Historical bass beer. I don't know if it's quite a 10 out of 10. Beer round. Okay, it's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> it's angry. This is historical bass beer in an historical bass town. Of course, this is a uh, full grain as well, isn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, you know what? Like, it is a ten out of ten. I made it being picky. Uh, it could do just with a few more ups from my life, but it's, it's a fantastic beer. Well done. Fantastic beer. And don't forget, this beer was shipped around the world. It was the UK's. It was the beer. It was it? the beer. It was yeah. not only the UK's, but the world's number one selling yeah. beer. Yeah. Uh, production 
over a million barrels produced, and there wasn't a corner of the British Empire that you couldn't find bass in. He knows a lot today, doesn't he? Hey, right. So that's a ten. Is it ten out from ten for you? Of and course it is. I'll be it. Have we got another beat to try? Of course right? we have. Of course. Just we have. move that one out of the way for a minute. What's next then? Well, let's move over to those people at Mangrove Jacks. They do it. Oh, he said it right. I did it today, didn't I? I've barely swallowed the dictionary, the history bible. I've swallowed the dictionary as well. And they do a kit called Lucky Goat IPA, I think. Lucky Goat Pale Ale. Oh, pale Ale. Sorry. Pale Ale. Oh, I like these bags. They're always good for me because they've got loads of info all on that sticker there. Look. Uh, tells you ABV, 4.4. Uh, oh, it's it's all on here. Excellent. Tells you. So everything you need is in that pouch. Everything you need is in that pouch. There's a dry compartment Ooh. containing it. Oh, not in this one, actually. Okay. No, it's just one compartment. It's all open, that's all printed. Uh, uh, with this one, <laughs> this isn't a twin power system. They actually add the yeast, so take the bomb. Ah, fair enough. That's all right, isn't it? And there's no dry ops to add. Okay. 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 So it's just literally in that there. kit. But I did actually add another bag of malt extract. Right. Okay. One point two kilograms of malt extract extra to that. So just to denounce it and give it a bit more oomph and flavour. Uh, what sort of price are these kits then, bro? Well, again, with, you, with, with that in the bag of malt extract, it pushes the kit up around to about 20, 22 quid. It's still a bargain now, isn't it? Mm. So, um, I see. It looks quite... Not as much as a bargain as that bass, by the way, because that bag of grain you had hold of earlier was £10. £10. Jesus, that, you know you're going to get two pints in some pubs in town. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, now that looks quite a head on it. Is that through the corner keg? This is through the corner keg, right. through the gas system, same as uh, Guinness really, 70-30 sure mix. Look at that baby. Ooh. Being outside, through the in a chiller. Oh, it's chilled and all, bro. Should be. Oh, There's a strong malt in this nose. Oh, it's nice though, isn't it? Mm. You know what, I think you can stick any beer through the chiller. And that goes. That is, and it'll come that is out. good. Absolutely fantastic. Because that's cracking, really. Oh, that's There's that a strong one. maltiness to it, though, to my like. Too much maltiness to my like. There's a strong maltiness to it. And not enough hops. Probably because it hasn't had no dry hops in it this time. They are there. There's is a good bitterness oh, to it. I would say it's, it's, it's also quite a sweet bitter, isn't it? Yeah, it's a sweet know. bitter. Because um, that's what I'm saying, that maltiness yeah. that gives it that sweetness. Yeah. It, it is, it's certainly a gold beer, and I like my gold beers, and I tell you what, I bloody love that, that's fantastic. Man. I'm not so keen, the, long, the strong maltness is leaving a strange taste on the back mm. of my tongue. Well, it looks like I'm going to have to drink all this one then. <laughs> you're, you're welcome to it, I'll drink that. Yeah. <laughs> mm. No, I like that, it's good that is, bro. Mm. That's 10 out of 10 for me then. I'm, I'm not quite there with you on the 10 out of 10, I'm afraid. Uh, not a bad beer. I think it's improved by putting it through the uh, corner keg with the gas. So in maybe it. that may be it. That's what maybe what's uh, swaying it. To me, bit. there's too much maltiness and too much sweetness going on there, and not enough dry. I do have a slightly more sweeter palate than my brother, though. Mm. It has to be said. You do like so, cake, I don't. Well, there is that. <laughs> I think I'll do like a bit cake. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I like that. I think that's cracking. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Eight out of ten for me. Ooh, it's gone down. You got eight. Ooh, eight, eight, eight. Picky, isn't it? Uh, got another beer. Of course we have. Oh. <laughs> a range, a full range across the bar of beers. Back to full grain now. Oh, right, yeah. Because what you can actually do, while you're sticking a full grain on and you're waiting for your mash and all this, you can make a kit. So yes, that's, that's what, what you did there. <laughs> Made a kit of Lucky Goat or whatever his name was. So there. what's the next one then, Brad? We're back over to the um, uh, the Own Brew Company. Oh, this is, is this the exceedingly good IPA Chinook? Um, yes, indeed. Now then, uh, I've got no packaging for this. No. no. It just comes in back because it's full grain. Now, I will let the viewers into a little secret. Me and my brother have partaken quite heavily of this beer. So of course. No <laughs> um, uh, well, rugby's been on, hasn't it? Well, apart from yesterday's fiasco. And we have been supping that quite a bit, haven't we? <laughs> so, one, two. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> right. I already know what it tastes like. <laughs> There's a good nose to there. There's the, uh, you can smell the that's, ops in that's there. That's got the and best the ops nose. Chinook. That's the best nose of the three beers we've had it's today. You, you can tell it. Oh, that's just... Oh, lovely. I already know it's glorious. We, I, oh, yeah, I I <laughs> we, we already know it's glorious. That is a fantastic beer. Oh, a fantastic beer. And, and 
I believe we've probably not got a lot of it left. <laughs> There's a good round, full body to that beer as well. A good depth to the flavour. The flavour obviously coming through from the Shinnecocks, but not only the Mate, It's even better than it was the other day. <laughs> it's better than Bass, to be fair. Yes. I, I'm not going to argue there. I think that is. That is, mm. that is that, in fact, I reckon that's the best beer out of three. Mm. De- oh, definitely. definitely. And they're all brilliant. So we've turned the tables again. No more bad beer, bro. No more bad beer. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten out of ten for me. In fact, it's one of them. Whoa! It's an Hollywood handshake. Yeah, no, that, that is fantastic. Yes, good, good kit. That yeah, good kit. It. If you do check those out at the Own Brew Company, I think they're in Ireland as well. Uh, they do a full, massive range of uh, all grain, part grain, and uh, malt extract kits. But they do do a really good range of full grain kits. Yeah, that is a worth trying. Yeah, I, I, that's just right on my street, that one. I love it. It's fantastic. Mm. Cheers, everyone. Cheers, folks. Yeah, that's brilliant. That's about it for today, then, eh, bro? Mm. That's about it. Me and Alan have gone off and drink some more beer. Watch a bit more rugby. Yeah. Watch a bit more rugby. <laughs> and so I think until next time, it's goodbye from him. And it's goodbye from him. To the room. room.